Hello, my creative and curious friends. For this video, we continue my tutorial series on the use of different mobile apps for digital drawing. Particularly, this episode will be dedicated to the Adobe Fresco app. Here I'll be introducing you to the complete workflow of one of my illustrations. Together, we'll explore the simple and intuitive interface of the program, which is still constantly being updated and improved. We'll be using various pixel brushes, as well as selection, fill, and transform tools, and finally complete our fashion illustration. And as always, I invite you to visit my Instagram profile to discover many other completed projects. Don't forget to leave your comments and to activate the bell to keep updated on new video releases, this series, and many new ones. Enjoy the video! Adobe Fresco is a beautiful new application for drawing and painting. It was created for touch and stylus devices, replacing and combining the Adobe Draw and Adobe Sketch apps. Its interface is simple and intuitive and can be easily customized, for example by moving the toolbar to the left or right of your canvas. Above the workspace is the title bar, which is used to quickly switch to the home screen, undo, get help tips, open the share workspace, access the document and app settings, and view your canvas in full screen mode. To the left of your work area, you will find the toolbar which allows you to access all the brushes, selection tools, and colors. The transform tool and eraser tool are also available here. The app has a large selection of lovely brushes, divided into three categories. Pixel brushes, light brushes, and vector brushes. To the right of the canvas is the taskbar, which includes all the controls for working with layers. In the layers panel, you'll find the layer actions that will allow you to add or hide, clear or delete immediately, act on a multiple selection or on a created mask by opening the pop-up menu. The best way to work in Adobe Fresco is by dividing the entire drawing into separate layers. In order to be able to easily edit and improve the different elements of our graphics, Additionally, Adobe Fresco automatically splits the drawings onto different layers by categories of brushes used, namely pixel or vector. Today, we'll be using the pixel brush range for our illustration. For the sketch, let's choose the pencil brush from the sketching category. By tapping on the brush settings, we can change the brush size, flow, and smoothing as needed. Let's choose the black color. You can open the color panel by tapping on the color chip icon. In this panel, you will find the color wheel that will allow you to adjust the hue, saturation, opacity and more. Let's start by creating a uniform color base to color the sketch. We'll be using the Lasso Selection tool to highlight the area to be colored. And then use the Fill tool choosing the color for the skin. We can apply this last tool to recolor a layer while keeping the original pattern of the artwork unaltered. In this case, we'll activate a Lock Transparency for our fill operation. We can switch brushes and colors to create a few shadows and light points on the skin. We're going to use the mixer brushes in order to blend and mix colors naturally on the same layer. While painting with a brush, you can also temporarily turn it into an eraser through the touch shortcut by holding it down to use the eraser. To lock the touch shortcut in its primary state, tap on it twice the middle circle will then change to blue. The touch shortcut has a secondary state too, which allows you to perform some further actions.
And with this, we've concluded the introductory part of the tutorial on how to use Adobe Fresco. To get familiar with the application in the meantime, I suggest you try making your own sketch and coloring it. In the second part, we'll continue with the creation of the dress pattern and the hair of our figure, as well as a rich background for the entire illustration, learning to use various pixel brushes and creating new multicolor brushes. As always, please share your opinion in the comments, appreciate this video with a like, and activate the bell in order not to miss out on the new lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my profile on Instagram too, and see you next time!